Everybody, it's Chris from Prepare Mind 101 and it is week 14 in the summer of Jessica. And let's just get right to it. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit faster today. So, you wanna know who won last week? It's this person right here. So congratulations, be sure to email me at preparemy101 at gmail.com. Now, I'd asked a few friends, uh, can anybody produce me a video? So you guys get tired of seeing me, of using Jessica X to do like some finer tasks. So Wayne from Call Craven Bushcraft, uh, Wayne is on season uh, one of Alone. Uh, he's a big Jessica X user. He's probably the number one person after myself that has the most experience with this knife and is really, really good at using it. So he decided to take it and make a fish frog spear. And that's not that easy to do with a large knife. Uh, usually you want to use a, a regular size bushcraft knife, smaller knife, you know, to finish the thing out. But, you know, he likes to do things the hard way. So he busted one out with Jessica X. So that's what we're going to look at today. Uh, throw a, a common but useful skill at you using Jessica X. And then I get the day off. So, all right, here's Wayne from Call Craven Bushcraft. Right after you watch the intro. Taking off all the lumps and bumps off of this. And now I'm just going to sharpen this. Into a point somewhat. A knot right there. Right there. Now we've got a point on this. And what I'm going to make is a fishing spear or frog spear. Now, to make this with a large knife is difficult. Usually use a smaller knife for this because getting in between the tines and carving them can be a little tricky. We're going to try it with Jessica X. So first off, I'm going to try to put this right on that point and get that somewhat centered and see if I can split this. It's a knot right here. I'm going to have to go below this knot. Because that's just going to mess me up. That's how easy it is. <laughs> now all I have to do is sharpen this again. There we go. Now I'm going to split it. See how that split. Now we're going to go the other way. See if we can get that right on that tip.
And as you see, got the start of a fish spear. Now all I've got to do is cut a couple branches and feed those down in here and then start with my tines. So now I have two sticks here and I'm going to slide this down like this. Gives me about a two inch spread there. And I'm going to slide this one down to it. So there you go. Now what you would do is tie underneath so this does not split any further. And you could tie these as well so they don't move up and down and move around on you. Now this is about a two inch square surface. So it gives you more surface area when you go to uh, stab. But this is sometimes better, this uh, smaller two inch, than if you had a wider one. Because a lot of times the fish will get caught and wedged in between these tines. And you can come out even without them sticking into the fish. So now what we have to do is try to sharpen those up a little bit. They're already sharp because I did it beforehand, but, you know, how can I get that in to do it? Well, this is where you're going to have to use finesse. And what I'm going to do, turn around here, is I'm going to put just the tip of the blade in and use my thumb for leverage. And I can thin these out some. You don't want them too thin. Because they'll break on you. But. You just want to get them a little bit sharper. And if I can take this out. In here a little bit so I can make somewhat of a ledge on here then that's going to allow when I stab the fish it will kind of hook in and not slide off as easy so this is where it's going to be tricky you just go from whichever angle you can like I said this is usually very difficult with a bigger blade but, as you see, it can be done. You can see the leads that I'm starting there. I don't want to weaken this. I just want to have that little ledge on there. And that's going to help keep a fish on if need be. Of course, I'm using knife safety too, watching where I put my fingers and such, because this is uh, a little trickier than normal. But that there will work. I'm going to start on the next one. Another ledge on it. I'm going to continue that all the way around. It's all about control. Oh. <laughs> and sometimes that happens. So I just have to make it a little deeper. Yeah, it's all about control. I should have been using my thumb for that, like this here, and I wasn't. Try to hurry sometimes. It doesn't benefit you. there there we go one more to do now you can see how it has those ledges on there that's gonna help to hold a fish on when you stab you stab in one and you usually pin it and reach down and grab it or you 
bring it up really quick and hold it up in the air so it does not flop off. But now let's just uh, sharpen this up a little bit more. Just going to take these edges off here. And just make this a little sharper. I said the bigger blade you got to get more creative look at that that's rather sharp go to the next one now there's no way I'm gonna cut myself right here I've got this propped up here on my shoulder and I'm just barely going with this here like I said, get creative, and the tool will work with you. So another nice one, just going to go all the way around. This thing carves really nice. The knot right there, but went right through it, no problem. There you go. That is a beast. Notice these moved on me. So that's why I said that you can tie these so they do not do that to you. It was because I'm moving it around. But there it is. Right there. And that's sharp. Now you can harden this over a fire to make the points even stronger. But, there you go, that's a fishing spear, and usually only made with smaller knives, because it can be more difficult with a larger one, but I think it done very well. This is only for demonstration, but this is what that spear is for. <laughs> I'm only uh, two feet away. I could easily spear him. I have no need to. So you know the routine. Got a couple more to give away. It's almost over. Don't have the box out here with me, but you know the routine. If you want to win next week's Jessica X, all you got to do is comment in the comment section below. And pray to God, please give me a Jessica X. I'll choose one next week using the random YouTube comment picker. And we'll just keep on trucking along. Pretty soon we're going to run out of these things. We're going to have to come up with something different. I'm ready for summer to be over with anyway. This is the part of summer that kind of sucks. It's just hot and sticky. I don't know about you, but I'm a fall person. I can't wait for fall. Fall's when it's even more fun to be out in the woods. Uh, it, it starts cooling down. You got a wider range of clothing. Uh, it's nice and cold when you're sleeping at night. So I'm ready for fall. I'm also ready to do some other types of videos. I've got uh, another one coming up here. Probably be the video after this. Uh, some things I got a chance to look at and review. That's it's not a knife. Not a flashlight, not a camera. So, yeah, I know I gotta mix it up a little bit. My bad. Sometimes the cards just land where they do. All right, guys, that's all I got for right now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Those things really do help. Uh, the stores at preparemy101.com, that's my Amazon store, goes a long way to supporting the channel. 
especially at times like this when the CPMs for videos in July go what, what's that equi equivalent to it equivalents to like a $900 drop month to month so <laughs> yeah next month's gonna suck all right guys I'm rambling I'm rambling because I'm tired why am I tired? Because I just trucked all over Columbus with my son so he could catch freaking Pokemon. And I'm going to go get off the camera right now and go saw my legs off. So hopefully you don't have to do that. Don't saw your legs off. If you do, tourniquets. Tourniquets and towels and painkillers. All right, see you next time.